our area. Some special residents were having a dinner of their own at the Fireside Restaurant in the Charlestown Retirement Community. One of them was there when Thomas Jefferson was inaugurated. I mean, this is a great story. I'm just kidding. ABC 2's Nadia Singh caught up with them to hear their insight into this historic transfer of power. Nadia? Not quite Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> Jamie. All the folks I spoke to, regardless of how they voted, told me they're excited for change. And while change is difficult, they tell me it's time to move past the election and look towards the future. Right now we're making our own version of our new incoming president. So it's a little Trump, a mini Trump. The folks at Charlestown Retirement Community are getting ready for the 45th president in a different way. But you know what? Like anybody in terms of give the man a chance. We're going to pinch. Sorry. Robbie Furman shows the residents of the community about balloon art. This is his homage to our next president. But these faces have already seen a lot when it comes to presidential history. But think how different each one of these have been. When Obama went into office, that was pretty shocking. He was a man of color. Diane Lyon's first election dates back to John F. Kennedy. She says the country is no longer Camelot. Things were relatively simple. There was a great deal more respect, I think, uh, for institutions, for people, for learning. Right now, I'm going to start making his hair. Okay, so we got to get the Trumpador style just right. And while most of the residents I spoke to are ready to welcome a new commander in chief, thoughts of a simpler time resonate. There's not as much trust. Uh, the cities have deteriorated to some extent. And, uh, uh, a lot of people feel a lot of negativity today. As they enjoy their golden years, they're also hoping for a brighter future. We don't have the respect for each other, I think, at, at this time, and we, I hope that that will change. We'll take a little advice from President Obama, who said, I won, get over it. You know, we have to give up some of our likes and dislikes and make progress. We can't all continue to concentrate on the negatives. Uh, it's, this is uh, my own way of, uh, you know, showing our president, you know, uh, what you could do with different types of art forms. In Baltimore County, Nadia Singh, ABC2 News.